You've got it tuned to KEXP at 90.3 FM here in Seattle, streaming worldwide at KEXP.org. I'm Cheryl Waters. I'm here with my good friends. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's been too long. It's just worldwide. Not a big deal. We are worldwide. Yeah. Yeah, Don't be nervous. uh, I'm Brian. And I'm Nikki. And and we're Radiohead. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) We've been loving your work over these many oh, years. We've been loving your work over these years. <laughs> we feel like we discovered Silver Sun pickups. Yeah, I'm not sure did. if that's the real story, but that's definitely the story we tell. That's kind of how I feel. I feel, <laughs> I feel like, that way I, too. I feel like you guys told us about our band and then we did it. You're like, we have to live up to this little station <laughs> that could. Oh, I, little station that could. Look around. I'm back in 2005. Yeah. We were going down a list uh, earlier. I'm trying to remember what all the um, all the KXP things we've done. Well, uh, well, let me see if I got it. Okay, because I wrote Cause it down. I, I know did. you wrote it down. I can see those awesome notes in glitter pen. <laughs> um, <laughs> Let's hear it, Brian. So the first thing I, we played full band in the in the studio, right? Yeah. Do you and know that, what year that was? That might have been two thousand five. Is that Ding. true? Five. One right. Okay. Then I believe. Here's where it gets. Do we do? We did a full acoustic band thing at uh, that studio, Big Bear. What's it called? Bear Creek. In the middle. Oh, of, you forgot oh, did that you, one. You write that down? I forgot that one. That was good. I have the dates down, but I forgot about Bear Creek. Yeah. You know the one I remember most, and I think you did just skip over it. So we'll back up a minute. Oh, there's one that I don't know. The one in Austin. Oh yeah, Austin Texas, City Limits. In front of about sure. 300 people. You were great. Were you embarrassed the uh, heck out of me? I know. It was very funny. I understand. Funny. I, thought it was, I thought we were having a great time. We were, and that's how you make memories <laughs> right there. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to create a narrative that if you, if you uh, spelunk through every KXP Silver Sun interview, it has a narrative. Yes. So I wonder what chapter we're on. Hmm. Well, this is your seventh in-studio oh, session with God. us, so we could keep going. You did do that wonderful donor event at Bear yes. Creek. And right. We did that, and then we did the last one was at, the uh, bar. at that bar. <gasps> Another what bar one. was that? I, I forgot about that. I saw that. a lot of really, really, really nice. uh, drunk afternoon people. That was super fun. Yeah. Sun liquor. And sun it, liquor. That's right. Thank you, And then sun we, liquor. we did a... Um, um, uh, and if you're googling at home, please don't yell. Don't yell and scream. <laughs> yeah, don't don't rend the game. We did a full show at a nice club that I can't remember where that. The Triple Door. Yes. Another donor. So we're three mm-hmm. generous donor yep. events and from you. You, you and I in... from Neck of the Woods definitely did acoustic in the yeah. old KXP place. May 2012. But that's the past. Well, you might as well finish. And then we're September not. 2015, <laughs> you did a session. Um, yes. And here we are today. I know. Here yeah. we are. And everything's changed. We're all so different. Yeah. What do you think of our new so studios? Nice. I feel like I'm being interrogated by <laughs> Tron. <laughs> I feel like you helped build this. Um, I mean, So just, which light's ours? <laughs> you pick anyone you want. Which one do you want, Nikki? Um, that one over there. Can you go Nikki pointed. It? It's riveting radio. To, she pointed to a light that's blinking. And I'm going to tell you, listeners, it's it's the best light. Well, talk about riveting radio. Nikki uh. is wearing the best shoes ever today. Yeah. They're so Thanks. sparkly. They're almost blinding me. But I do want to talk about <laughs> yeah. um, our relationship with Silver Sun Pickups, oh. you know, as we go down memory lane here. Okay. is just a perfect example of what our mission is all about, Mm. connecting with people, helping them discover their next favorite band, and also discovering artists early and watching them grow and uh, feeling like uh, we're a part of that journey in some small way. Yeah, we we get the same tickle in our soul when we get a message from you guys as we did back then. The same exact, like, whoa, really? We're always like, well, maybe not this time. And then we get the call. It's like a bat phone. (laughs) And we go, what do they want? Let's do it. (laughs) Well, Cheryl better be there this time. I'm here. I'm so excited to be here today. She's a hologram, people. She's not here. I don't know where are you. Where are you in New Orleans? Oh, that'd be fun. Let's do that one next time together. I have a feeling the way you're growing, that might happen. Yes, I've gotten very tall. Oh, that's not Oh, you yourself is growing. (laughs) (laughs) So you have a new album, Mm -hmm. Widow's Weeds, coming out on June 7th. Yeah. And it's a Friday, which I think is now what happens, which we didn't know. know. Everything's changed. It's just the world is moving (sighs) so quickly. It takes a few years to catch on that they come out on Friday. Yeah, I asked that question recently. 
I said, did the albums come out on Friday? And someone looked at me and said, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's been that way for quite a while. I still remember, you know, Tuesday, Tuesday mornings at record big... stores and things like that. And what a big deal that was. Yeah, these kids, now Friday's the Tuesday for uh, Friday, fine, kids. <laughs> well, I am so excited to hear. You're going to play songs from the new album. You're going to yeah. give us three yes. new songs yeah. today. Mm -hmm. All right, is this their radio debut uh, on KEXP? I believe it so. It is the radio debut. Are you debut ready to do this? I think so. Silver Sun Pickups live on KEXP.
Ah, I love that. Silver Sun Pickups live nice. on KEXP, a song from the new album, Widow's Weeds. I love seeing uh, you and Nikki <laughs> play like this. It, you clearly look like you're having so much fun. It did is this, fun. Do the songs start like this, or do you have this big sound of the full band when you make the record, and then you say, we have to figure out how to play these acoustics so we can... No, th this... Well, before, yeah. And honestly, it took doing things like this, I think... It would have been a scary thought to do this if we weren't forced to, in a way. I don't mean that forced to, but I mean, you know, we had to. And yeah. so while we were doing it and we were so afraid, and I think our first things were like live on air like this, we found uh, our way through it and how, yeah, yeah. how to enjoy it. And kind of, I think at the beginning we were thinking, oh, so if we do it acoustically, are we going to go like, you know, like... <laughs> And there was something about, especially when she started playing acoustic bass, there's something about being able to keep the energy of what the show is. Yeah. With the two of us and be playful and stuff. As you noticed during that song, we care more about the claps. <laughs> <laughs> we always so put things in. That. Yeah. I think you did great. Thanks. You did. Your face is lit up. And the extra <laughs> challenge of doing it with <laughs> picks in your hands. Can't I do know. a full open hand clap. <laughs> yeah. That's if I know. I was like holding a to pick. Yeah. Oh very, very. Yeah. Look at you. Yes. But I think that, I mean, we just do dove right into these acoustic things. Yeah. And that was like the fun part of it. We're just trial by error. Yeah, and trial by are. error. <laughs> <laughs> well, Fire and <laughs> error. That's that new Game of Thrones book that hasn't come out yet. Fire and error. <laughs> that's the one that's the story before the story that yeah, we know. Yeah, the prequels. Right. prequels. Right. That's what that's called. <laughs> and Thank we've you. never been let down by prequels in our lives before. <laughs> never. Never. Can't think we of one. Brian, you talked a little bit about that being scary when you first tried mm -hmm. it. In interviews about Widow's Weeds, I taught, mm -hmm. I read that you had talked about sort of a little bit how scary this new record yeah. was for you. You feel like talking about that? It always seems a little bit scary um, at, at first because really these records are just, in the way the songs come out of my mind, they're always just a bit of a window into what is happening, a time capsule, what you care about, what how you feel, and this this time in particular, just a wild year. It was a big, now that I'm sort of looking back at it, it was a very roller coaster metamorphosis kind of year, you know, that while I was in it, it just felt like, oh my gosh, things are just really crumbling, and and eventually we got, got made a lot of massive changes and got through a lot of it, but at the time it was just, left me very vulnerable, which I think is the, the lesson for me that year was how to access being vulnerable. And so that came out completely through this record. And in a lot of ways, even the way lyric, lyrics sort of showed up, they were just a, a little more um, blunt and less poetic. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I thought, well, that's how they usually go. And then when we played them live, there's so much going on that you don't necessarily dip into all these spaces. Like a lot of people think, and some bands might be this way, but a lot of people think that when you're going up there and you're going to play Well Thought Out Twinkles or something, you're going to zip in a time machine, you know, and go, I feel like I'm on that, you know, I'm that angry 20 year old. Um, but this record so far, as we've been playing these songs, it has made me feel a little like, whoa, <laughs> certain songs. And so I'm starting to try and. Uh, figure my way through that. Well, they're still so new yeah. to you, or I don't know how, how recently you wrote Pretty, them, but... They are very new. You said you were going through a difficult time, and was it a matter of it being time for the band to write a new record, and you're like, oh, I'm going through all this, I have to write a record, or was no. it an opportunity to throw yourself into this process and work through, through it writing these songs? I would say that... The opportunity, it's, well, it's just dumb luck that we get to do what we do, you know? I can't imagine what kind of person, I, I would hope I'd be a really healthy person, but I don't know. I can't imagine not being able to have access to this sort of um, catharsis, you know, this sort of uh, almost meditation to be able to focus really hard on uh, something like making a record and, and putting so much of yourself into it. And having it really live there once you kind of do it, some of it really, you know. Um, and I don't, I don't know what it's like to not have that. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So really, it's it's for me, it's never a. Oh, I'm feeling things are weird. 
I should write about it. <laughs> I just never thought in my mind, in fact, that somebody called me a songwriter and I thought, I don't, what? <laughs> that doesn't sound, I don't think of, you know, myself like that. I think we don't walk around in our lives with Silver Sun pickups in our brains. Does that make sense? It does. And in fact, I've even heard you say long ago, you don't think of yourself as a singer. No. Clearly, you're a singer and a songwriter. I think that's debatable. We can take a poll. At KXP <laughs> still, is Brian O'Bear a singer? To figure it out. Nikki, tell me what it was like in the studio, because you worked with um, a very <laughs> famed producer this time around, oh. and that must have brought um, some interesting new perspectives to the band, sort of, sometimes it can be like adding a new member when you have someone yeah. with so much experience and so much to offer. Yeah, and in general, making an album is such an intimate experience with the, the few people you're working with, and um, um, Butch was such a, a nice addition to our Silver Sun family and Billy, who engineered the album. I mean, he immediately, they both immediately made us feel at ease and, and just like the way that, 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 that Butch is, it's like you want to open up and try different things and, and just, um, we were all like trying, well, we were trying to be on our A game. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, but, he's like a but, guy from the neighborhood, you know, Butch Big. Everybody. Is he a guy yeah. from the neighborhood? Well, that's sort of how we saw it. Yeah, you know, and obviously it wasn't lost on us that he's done a lot of things, but we just like the guy. He's, he's very he, sweet he, and family Wisconsin oriented. Wisconsin to yeah. the core. Obviously, he has a ton of experience. We and, realize that later. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he can do a lot. But when his name comes to mind, yeah. the first thing I think of is like 47 guitar tracks yeah. <laughs> in a song, which is not, you know, uh, unreasonable to think of uh, yeah. on a Silver Sun Pickups He's album. creative. But what did he, what ideas did he bring to the record? Obviously, you brought your own ideas. Every time Silver Sun <clears throat> Pickups seems to <clears throat> change it up from record to record, which yeah. is probably what keeps things interesting for you after all these years. But well, what did Brit Butch bring? What kind of ideas did he bring? He, I'll tell you that the, there's one that I never really thought of before that Christopher, our drummer, brought it up. And we've never been working with somebody that came from a band perspective because as we were, yeah. as we were um, making this album, we did it in two halves. We, didn't, we recorded earlier than we would have. So then he could go on tour with his band Garbage for summer and then we'd meet up in the winter. And by being around him while Garbage is really... <clears throat> activated and on uh, we realized what a band they are they are a democratic band everybody has a voice and he's the drummer in that band and that i i think really added a perspective to the way he sort of dealt with all the band members he really came yeah. from it from that eye level I, does that make sense that was something that was really nice is that each he would ask us each individually like how do you want your part to sound where do you want your part to go mm -hmm. and and just like uh or just taking time to uh to to ask everyone and to value what what each band member had to bring to the to the whole and uh that was um something that we you know appreciated working with him Mm -hmm. Broco, Wisconsin, to the core. Yeah. Nicest guy ever. But his legacy, like I said, it was just a guy. I, I sang on a song with Garbage a couple of years ago. And through that, in that session, in the studio with Butch and Shirley and Billy and Billy Bush, who's the engineer, um, Butch's right hand man, I just loved the experience so much. So we knew we were going to uh, jump to a new producer because so far we've done like two records with each person and then we like to move on. And the way these songs were coming out, you know, <clears throat> it just felt, wow, I wonder if Butch Vig, that would be really, yeah. such a good experience with him. And I thought, oh, he, I think he could get into these songs. And everybody, we had a lot of discussion about it, and there were emails about it. And the only person that wasn't aware of any of this was Butch. <laughs> we're like, be great. Yeah. We're all set. And then there's emails, yeah, okay. And cute by our <laughs> management. And then I thought, oh, wait, what about, <laughs> what if should Butch know about this? And I texted him. I said, hey, Hey man, uh, you want to make a record this summer? And he said, "Yeah, man, sounds fun." And that was that. <laughs> and does he know that means he has to make the next one too? Yeah. Oh, what's yeah? He does. Oh, he knows. Yeah, he <laughs> he yeah he wants to do it right now. When we ended this record, it was so. It was sad. it was sad. <laughs> I think so we all got a little teary eyed because we're in there every day together, and then you know it's over, and then yeah. we're like, what do we do we, now? It's nice to. It's really lovely, you know, when you're tumbleweed and life rolls along. And we've been so fortunate into <clears throat> just meeting all these people, and they've just kind of jumped into our little 
tumbleweed that grows in Butch and his family is just such a lovely thing. It sounds like a sweet set. He's so awesome. Sweet. Have you talked yeah. to him before? We've talked to him here at KEXP. He's yeah. The best. So interesting. He is. Yeah. And the, the, well, by the time we started working with him, the legacy stuff you're talking about, obviously when we'd go to his house and go downstairs and work on stuff, he had all the records up and stuff. And we were like, whoa. And he's like, yeah, I put those up for my daughter, you know. <laughs> wow, this is so amazing. We realized so that, but you many. could tell. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, more than you know. Like, there's the ones you so know. So many quality records. It I is mean. wild. And it kept going and going and going. And then Garbage Alone had just yeah. so, so much stuff. And there's just like... How know. exciting is it that they're out playing again? Oh, we just saw yeah, them. Yeah, we did just see them. They we were went amazing. To go, yeah. Man, surely. <laughs> wow. Oh, they have Eric Avery playing with them, which Crazy. is... He's a monster. And Butch was just talking about it. He's like, yeah, man, he makes me like such a rock and roll drummer. It's so exciting. But yeah, Shirley's, Shirley's an unstoppable force. I know. Let's not stop her. Yeah. And you can't. You wouldn't be able <laughs> yeah, you to. Can't. You wouldn't be able to. We won't to, let her stop. You couldn't try. I would, I would never go for that. Yeah. We're live on KEXP talking with Silver Sun Pickups mm. about the new album Widow's Weeds. You want to play a new so sure. another song for yeah, us? Yeah, we're going to play a new song. Are we doing a new one? Or? Yeah, let's do some snaps, Nick. Oh, yeah, that's very important. Okay. I'm just got to pretend like I can. Okay. Yeah, hey, can you snap, Cheryl? Yeah, follow Nikki. Yeah, I can snap and whistle. Okay. Follow okay. Nikki. Yeah, everybody's doing great. <laughs>
you gunning for? Should I have the deck fall through the floor? Don't know what you're thinking of Do a chip away I'll keep defenses up Don't make a sound If it gets too loud Will you hear me come around? Hear me come around Don't know what you're gunning for Should I hit the deck fall through the floor? Fall through the floor Don't know what you're thinking of Do a chip away I'll keep defenses up See now you wanted to play Hurry back, I think they're closing the gate But I fear it's just a moment too late Nice snapping, you guys. Thank you. Thanks. I aborted halfway through, as you saw. It <laughs> got right. a little we too complex for me. We didn't talk about the double snap. Was, when we talk <laughs> about the double Sorry. snap, things go crazy. <laughs> I'll be ready for the next show. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll see you there. Are you serious? Yes. All right. I totally will. Okay. We are live here in the KEXP <laughs> I studios. I would love nothing more than that. <laughs> it's Silver Sun Pickups. Widow's Weeds is the new album. And yeah. That is out on your own label, New Machine mm -hmm. Recordings, your second record, yeah. your second record out on your own label. I imagine that expediates some things yeah. <laughs> to be yeah. on your own label. Tell me about um, that how that shines that's a been. big light on what actually takes time. Yeah, and what was just a bunch of like do tell <laughs> or is it trade secrets? Not really. It's just like we were never. We've always been a band with a tiny world. If that makes it like there's not a lot of people involved. It's pretty much us, and then there's a tight crew of people in our management that we work with. And with as far as labels go, we've never really had a big team. So, and you know, and they also know that they can't make us do anything because we wouldn't know how to do what they wanted. So, there, but even with like the small labels that we were on. It still was like a game of telephone and red tape and having to tell somebody like, oh, no, no, but, you, you know, you will say yes to this, but, you know, so really this is really, it's kind of up to us and we, if, yeah. you know, if something's wrong, it's our fault. But things move quick. They move really lightning, lightning fast, which I love. Now we just say something and everyone's like, cool. Yeah, cool. we do. We do. We it's do. It's a jokey <laughs> that everything in our email just says, cool, cool. <laughs> Awesome. Cool. 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 No, you don't even do that. Sometimes oh, you do. do Sometimes awesome. you do awesome with exclamation, <laughs> exclamation points. <laughs> exclamation points. And point. I just imagine you screaming. Yeah. I, Brian doesn't prefer exclamation points. But Only if you're yelling. You no, know, it's me being excited. I know. <laughs> I'm trying to break the habit as I overuse them yeah. in writing, but not in real life. So. Right. But yeah, it's, it's <laughs> I take it literally. It's just like, calm down, Cheryl. Yeah, don't yell at me. <laughs> I'm so happy you're excited, but ow. I never do all caps, though. So. <laughs> yeah, that's like, that po yeah, that's like pokes your eyes out in an yeah, email. Yeah, it's offensive writing. <laughs> um, you've grown a lot together as a band and individuals. Mm -hmm. I know that the band is quite close. And by the way, send our love to Christopher I will. and yeah. Joe. But... When you think of the growth of the band over the last 15 years or so, what sticks out for you? What mm. have been sort of the most important things that have stuck with you? Oh, my gosh. Well, you know, I think Brian and I, our perspectives change also after having, after having kids. You have to really uh, get organized mm. <laughs> if you're um, in a band and, you know, traveling. And, and just I think we all appreciate each other. And we were friends first, you know, before starting the band. So it just... Uh, it, it is an know. interesting question. And I like being asked these things because you have to sort of intellectualize, the, you know. Yeah, I like to hear what comes out of our mouths because it's interesting. <laughs> We've never been asked. To say. <clears throat> well, you know what I mean. Yeah. Because really, it, this is just an organic thing that has just kept moving along. And I, I will say, as everybody's sort of grown and you know, lives are separated and things like that. The thing that I really think is important in our band is that as soon as we stop touring for a little while, and usually we're on and off for about two years for each record, when we're at home hearing our own brains and in our lives and things, uh, everybody <clears throat> almost has the, at the same time this yearning and desire to come back to this thing and want to get involved in it and, and it's, they're ready, you know? So there's no like, 
okay, we're start, we're gonna start this. Oh, I'm doing this. I'm doing. You know what I mean? Like everybody pretty much is putting everything in it. You know, it's it's everyone's band, and everybody has been involved in it so long. And the thing that makes me excited and and happy, and I think it would be an interesting day if this didn't happen. That we're just as into the thing we're doing next as like before. So it always feels, it's weird to feel like a band that's been around for a while, you know, for us, because it feels the same and making yeah. records the way we try to push ourselves and the way we write. So it's always, Silver Sun always feels like any second this thing can just come crashing. <laughs> like the, the, it feels like trying to hug a cloud. <laughs> like it's always out of our reach and always uncomfortable and always exciting. And I, that's what we need really to do this and I think everybody feels that way yeah and that's that would be strange to have to beg somebody to come back yeah well Nikki said you were friends first you're still friends mm -hmm. and even from the beginning oh, we're not friends anymore <laughs> <laughs> your our family no it's band relationship family. Fine. <laughs> friends relationship just down the tubes <laughs> but even <laughs> since the beginning and I think of this as you were just describing um all of that Brian is you never <clears throat> like I know you toured a lot. You yeah. probably learned how to pace yourselves, especially with family. But you never did the sort of like write, record, go on tour, and then immediately back in the studio. You have seemed to have created that space for yourself. You have to over the years. Yeah. And I know you don't necessarily write on tour no. either. You create space for that, and you've sort you've done that even from the beginning. Yeah, which is probably why you you know part well, of the reason you feel so excited I think about you're hitting on something that I find very that I think is very important when, you know, when bands come up to us and ask us questions, we're always like, why are you asking us? That's <laughs> so weird. Um, the one thing I always say is like, well, in the beginning, in the days that you're, you're going, you're going to Numos and you're loading in and you're playing at one in the morning and all this stuff like that. Are you enjoying this? Because whatever your process is as a band, that's what's going to be your process as a band, wherever it takes you. And if you are not, liking any of the stuff right now, you're, does, it's not going to change, you know? So, it, but if you're loving it, and there are things about it that you, that, that, you know, you, you're getting something from those shows, or there's something about why you're making music you don't know at all, you know? And, but it's something that you feel like it makes you feel better for some strange reason, then, and you're enjoying the process, then that's, that's everything, you know? I love that. Yeah, I think after all these years, I, I, I'm, a, I'm still a fan of our band. I like over. Nikki's such a geek and I'm <laughs> such a fan. She wears the shirt to the shows. <laughs> it's okay to wear your own shirt. Heavy metal parking lot. <laughs> I jump his bone. I, I jump it. his bone. I'm still a fan <laughs> as well. <laughs> We're live. I'm a fan. I'm a, I think I'm, I'm a fan of it. It's hard to be a fan. I, we I try really ever. hard. And, do you, do you, you know, play we're proud of what we do at home? No. <laughs> no. Well, now we have kids, we kind of do. Yeah. Um, I won't, um, it is so hard to be a, a fan. I'm a fan of all that all the, this band means and how it's, what it's given to me in my life and what I'm able to do and, the pro and all the things making it, you know, just sitting on a balcony at a butcher's house and, like, being creative, all those things. I'm such a fan of all that. But as a massive fan of music, it is impossible for me to ever think of our band in the same way because it's us. And I think with music, I get I have such emotional responses to the music, and it's a wanderlust adventure that when I'm doing it and put my parameters on it, it stops becoming <laughs> like I hear <laughs> us. So I don't escape into our own music. Well, so. I'm just proud of what, yeah, like I said before, I'm just proud of what we've done. I know we've all worked really hard. I think it's great that you can say that. <laughs> I didn't work hard this time. I did. I phoned it then. <laughs> your, your kids are pretty young. If, us, if you were out somewhere in a restaurant and one of your songs, an old one, came uh -huh. on the radio, would your before. kids know it was you? I think they Do you would. think they recognize it, even they if they hadn't heard the song that, before? They said, that sounds like Bri Bri. Yeah. They would know b that, more than we would. Yeah. We have uh, many times sat at a bar and somebody in our band. Sat at a bar with right. your kids? No, no. Uh, yeah. Oh, of course. With us. And then we'll be like, this sounds so yeah. familiar, and it'll be something <laughs> off Carnivus. <laughs> yeah, we've been, no, no, but we've been at a bar and, and um, bragging. We've been to a bar, guys. <laughs> it's pretty insane. Um, 
and our songs have come on and like somebody in our band like who is this <laughs> i'm not we joking have. no <laughs> and we go it's you dude we dinner we were at and we're like this is so oh, yeah, that's familiar. weird clearly you need it's to add some more reactor, oldies to your yeah. set list <laughs> <laughs> well that's the thing i think we, we hear, hear them live we hear them live you know more we'll only di- we only dip into like once the record's made and we figured how how the live version and the feeling is going to be we only dip back into the records just to make sure that we're on the same path because if we're playing and we do something live and then two weeks later I do something off of that thing and then off of that thing, it, you know, we don't want it to sound like a bizarre cover. Then we know right? it's time lost to, the map, to, so to we, go off tour for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to go back on the record yeah. and hear how you did it. Well, you know? speaking of dipping into the you past, okay. it looks like you're going to play I know. an older one now.
Silver Sun pickups live on KEXP Panic Switch yeah. from the 2009 album Swoon. Reimagined. Uh, I get such a rush when that song kicks in. You've still got it. Oh. <laughs> After all these years. <laughs> you said 2009, and in my head I went, yeah, a couple years ago, right? A couple years no, ago. No, it's not half. <laughs> Just... It's 2019. Your new album, Widow's Weeds, coming uh -huh. out on June 7, yeah. 2019, my mother's birthday. Oh, so wow. So thank you for having oh, speaking me. Speaking of birthdays, I know I mean, he might be listening because he's a pretty cool dude. But my son just turned four today. Yay. Happy birthday. Yeah, and as a good father, I'm spending it here in Seattle with you. <laughs> you came all the way up to Seattle to get some fun gift for the, him. The, and you'll, yeah. You'll be home be with it tomorrow. FaceTime. Yeah. He did say this Birthday morning, party tomorrow. what's a Seattle? <laughs> bring him home a Space Needle. I will. I'll bring him home the Space Needle. Excellent. Yeah. Live here on KEXP, <laughs> Brian and Nikki from Silver Sun Pickups. We talk you into one more? Yeah. What? What happened? <laughs> one How more song? Yeah. 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 Happy birthday, Nico. Yeah. When you hear this in this space capsule, that'll eventually be the place we're in right now. And it's floating around in space. Yeah? Yeah. Thanks, Cheryl. Thanks for having us. called Freakazoid.
from dying. I keep on fighting as long as you keep trying. As long as you keep trying. I believe you're trying to keep us all from dying. Keep us all from dying. I believe you're crying to keep this whole thing. Flying. Hope that comes out flying. Yeah. Mind, seems you might be lying. Keeping us from dying. I keep on fighting as long as you keep trying. As long as you keep trying. Nicely done. Thanks. Thank you. I was nervous. <laughs> Silver Sun pickups. Use the nerves. Live on KEXP. Three new songs from Widow's Weed. Yeah. So exciting. Yeah. There's seven more. There, there are. There's seven more. <laughs> That's how we hit talk in the studio. All right. There's, seven more to go. I think we need seven more. <laughs> Well, everyone can hear them one week from today. Yeah. The new album comes exciting. out next Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Thank so you I for know. having us. Show. So nice to see you. It yeah. is so nice to see you. So what are the chances we'll get to see you again sometime next this year? Well, uh, well and what are you doing in about an hour? <laughs> <laughs> I think they're pretty good. Store. Yeah. But you yeah, have obviously, so. you're not mm. just going to keep this record to yourself and KEXP. You have uh, we, we plans, thought about, plans to go on tour. We, we, well, I just want to tell everybody... Um, Six months ago, we put it on our MySpace page, and the record's been out there for about <laughs> a while just to see if anybody noticed, and nobody did. <laughs> oh, right. And we have some rarities on it, our Friendster testimony. Yeah, we couldn't put it on our Friendster page. We couldn't. So. They didn't allow it. They, they don't said allow there's music. only people only. No pictures of horses <laughs> or bands. <laughs> Ask your parents, kids. <laughs> uh, plans for a tour? Yes. Um, okay. Yeah. But we, we they haven't been solidified yet. But. There's things Fair enough. Up. Of course yeah. we're going to come back. Too many yeah. people to ask, so many decisions to make. Yeah, it's just uh, us. Label. Should we come back, Brian? <laughs> um, yeah, are you asking me? Yeah. I think that's a good idea. Okay, Decision we'll come back. Decision made. I got a couple of people. I mean, now that we have our own label, there's a lot of red tape. Yeah. Of <laughs> Forget all he said earlier. Uh, yeah, so. I think I said Maybe yes. 60% chance Silver yeah. Sun yeah. pickups oh, will be back that's in 2019. Want to go see Godzilla with me at the Cinerama down there? The Cinerama thing? Totally. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in. Let's, let's make a plan. Okay. Thank you so much. Always yeah. a pleasure Thank to you. see you. We love KXP. We love you so much. Yeah. Seriously, it's such it's such a thrill that you guys still care about us, and it makes us like Thank you. honestly jovial beyond belief. Yeah. Well, we do care, and you've got a full house there. But what happens when you don't? <laughs> hmm. That Thank is a you, good God. question. I want everyone here we'll who's listening so to understand that if we're not. When we come out with another record, you don't hear us, something foul happened. Our love is unconditional. It is. Thank you. We feel the same way. Yeah. Thank you so much. You are listening to Nikki and Brian of Silver Sun Pickups live on KEXP Seattle. Cheryl. Cheryl. Boom, boom, boom. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.